So, Argentina against Iceland was not as boring as we all expected, or at least I expected, and I'm on a hot streak. I got two results in a row right. Uh, don't take any credit for I don't take any credit for that. Uh, just was a gut feeling that Argentina will have it hard against Iceland, and so it proved. Iceland played very disciplined, uh, very well actually, in a way enjoyed watching them, although I was really pulling for Argentina. I thought with the early goal by Aguero, Argentina will have it easier, but if you have a clown as a goalkeeper and a super shaky defense, uh, Iceland can score, and they almost did before Argentina scored, then they scored a well-deserved equalizer, I thought, and yeah. Argentina was pressing, 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 but if you have eight, nine players very close to each other, always breaking up um, any attempts of attack, you cannot win. And then if your best player misses a penalty, which yeah was probably the same quality as Ronaldo, but the goalkeeper was there and it was very easy to save. Uh, so in that sense, yeah. Uh, I feel a little bit for Messi. I always thought he had the thought that he needs to carry the entire team. He did a lot by himself and without help from his teammates, I don't think Messi can do much. I don't think Messi was bad in this game by any regard, but I think he got frustrated uh, very, very quickly and maybe he's feeling the pressure, uh, especially since Ronaldo scored three now. Maybe he's feeling the pressure that he probably needs to do the same. Uh, but that's conjecture. He should be pro enough that this is not that big of a deal and uh, he has to uh, worry first about him and his team. What I liked about our Argentina is compared to France, they really kept going. They had fast, uh, a fast game. They were doing a lot of passes. It was They really put in a lot of effort, but so did Iceland. Iceland really put a lot of effort in. They were um, defensively solid and dangerous in, in attack. And the other thing I have to say, Iceland, uh, I love their look. They are quintessential Nordic Scandinavians, especially Bjarnason. Uh, he could be f playing in a metal band, I think. Uh, for that, I like them already a lot. And yeah, they are a team, yes, they don't play any flashy style. Uh, they do what they do best. Uh, very sober approach to the game and that they do very well and that's why they are probably the best organized team in this group. Uh, they can cause problems to Croatia, can cause problems to Nigeria and it's everything but a done deal. I don't think this is that big of a blow uh, for Argentina as many people will make it now out to be. I still stand by uh, my prediction that Argentina will beat Croatia and probably also Nigeria and uh, then we'll make it to the second round quite easily. Well, let me know... Ah, before I go, the big scandal though was the uh, jersey matchup. I don't get why Argentina had to blame black and Iceland in white, uh, especially since Argentina is the home team. I think if Argentina plays in a classic strip and Iceland plays in blue with white pants, even all blue, would have been fine. Uh, especially in the a age of HD, it should not be a problem to distinguish the two teams. I think there is enough uh, difference between the, uh, the two jerseys. Yes, soccer has a global reach and yes, there are countries that are not yet uh, fully in the HD universe. I understand that maybe there are still some countries that have a black and white TV, but I still think it's not necessary to have Argentina as the home team play in their away uniform. Um, just ruined it a little bit f for me uh, as it was a little bit more of a boring matchup. I really would have liked to see a little bit more blue in that game. I thought the Iceland jerseys looked actually better than I thought at first, except I didn't like this stripe going down on the side. Uh, also, the Argentina jersey is slowly growing on me, but I still would like it better in a navy blue than in black. Well, let me know what you think about how the game went. What do you think about Messi's performance, if you like Iceland or you don't, and what you thought about the jerseys. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, Denmark, Peru is coming up very soon. Time permitting, especially my two little girls are playing outside already. 
So I'm not sure if I will have uh, the chance to make a third video for the day uh, discussing matches. But if I get to it, I'll be happy to summarize that game and probably the late game as well. Until later. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.